one group had heard of their plight, the refugees, and they went in to help donate food, clothing, money, whatever they needed. Their leader said, who are you? Well, there were some assembly of God outfit, and he said, let me ask you about your Bible. Let me ask you about your doctrine. And when they didn't line up with the Bible and doctrine he believed in taught, he refused their money and their donations. They said, but your people are starving. He said, rather starve a Baptist than die a compromiser. I cannot believe that. That is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. Christian people bring food and money and supplies to people in need and some arrogant, self-righteous Baptist refuses it because it didn't come from a Baptist church. And the, the, the irony of the whole thing is that the beliefs of the Baptists don't line up with the Bible either. The Assembly of God he mentioned, they, they believe in salvation through Christ. They believe you're saved by grace through faith and not of works. Okay, they, you know, they, they read and preach from the Bible. The Baptists, yeah, they believe, you know, saved by grace through faith, not of works. They, well, they preach the Bible one verse at a time, one verse per sermon. Sermons can't have more than one Bible verse because then you couldn't impose your opinion on it. And true, they, they, they have some other crazy things they believe. You know, they adhere to the doctrine of the Nicolaitans that in Revelation, Jesus says he hates the doctrine of the Nicolaitans or Nicolaitans. I'm not sure which way to say that. And yet, at least the independent fundamental Baptists, they adhere to it. They teach it. They believe it. Now, there's always been some disagreements about understanding certain parts of the Bible. But you know what? If I was a leader and my people were in need and they needed food or supplies, I'd take it from the Mormons. I'd, I'd take it from the Jehovah's Witnesses. I would take it from the atheists. Because I would thank God that need was being met. I'm not going to have my people die over dogma. I mean, when Joshua went into Canaan, Rahab, a prostitute, provided what God's people needed. So I'm hardly going to refuse food, <laughs> you know, and, and, and other needed supplies for my, for my people just because of where it's coming from. I would always assume it's coming from God. God can use anybody, anytime. So, but th this, this is some of the junk I heard when, when I was in the uh, IFB. This is some of the junk I heard from the, the so-called preachers. And the worst thing is, I've been in preachers meetings where, where garbage like this is spewed and other pastors just amen it, amen it. It's time that we really get to know the God of the Bible. Thank him for all good things. So I, it's just my little rant. But if you're sitting in a church where stuff like this is being preached, it's time to leave. It's time to get out. This is not of God. This man is not of God. This man is not a pastor. He is a wolf. He is a devil. He will lead people to their grave without Jesus because he is 
evil. 